Hello, industry tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Railroad Tycoon 3 with me, Blue Ankylo. So as I've been saying for many episodes, you can play the game with less focus on tracks and more focus on mm, producing goods and selling them. And we bought our first steel mill. We actually built it. We bought one that someone else had just built, and we stole it right from underneath them. And it looks like it's going to be very profitable, which is good for us because, don't forget, we need to make 10 million in industry profits by the year 1880. So we've got 15 years, we're halfway through the campaign, and we just finally started making real money up. But I think we'll be okay. We're going to need to build more manufactories for sure. Uh, and also our company book value. I think we've already qualified for bronze. Uh, we need company book of 40 million. Yeah, we're actually halfway there too. So actually that's looking good. Halfway through we've got half the company book. Should be easy to keep boosting that. And then our industry profit is work is going up. So that's the focus for today. I'm going to ignore the train tracks a little bit unless something comes up. Like I hear something important. It looks like we've got a lot of really profitable trains. So I'll just sort of ignore them for now. If a new train comes up, I might upgrade them or something. Or if something crashes, I don't know. I suppose I should pay attention to these uh, short on water things. It looks like it can refill... Like, as soon as it leaves the station, for instance. How about you? Um, as soon as it gets to St. Louis, it'll be able to get some water, right? Yeah, right there. So, uh, those guys shouldn't be anything... It means it's probably too long of a track for no re refueling, rewatering, whatever. But, uh, whatever. I don't really want to micro that stuff. This one needs oil, actually. Um, what's this route? Detroit to Toledo... Oh, there's probably no maintenance, maintenance route on that. Oh, those are enemy trains. That's what's slowing this down. There's enemy trains on our route. That's that's causing some problems. Maybe I should disconnect the track and make my own station in Detroit. You know what? Let's do it. <laughs> that's pretty rude, isn't it? That's very rude. Yeah, let's do it. I don't care. What are you guys going to do about it? Oh, I guess I need to have it on some speed. Hold on. Am I not allowed to do that? What's going on? Having problems here? Turn it back to slow mode. There we go. Okay. Oh, the war is over! The Union wins. Weapons, munitions go down. That's fine. I wasn't producing any of those anyway. Very gimmicky if you do, well not gimmicky, but it's up, it's up and down. If you decide to produce those, sometimes they're worth tons, sometimes they're not. Alright, let's get rid of this track. <laughs> Alright, hold on. So, what I'm also going to want to do here is uh, fix that track so my train can start making the Detroit route again. So what I'm going to do here is build a large station if I can. Oh yeah, right there! I don't even need to connect up. Ha <laughs> ha. I, uh, that'll teach them. And just in case they try to connect it to me. Hmm, I wonder if the AI is smart enough to try to build a track between those two. I bet you I could, I could do something rude here and block them. I've got all those, uh, buildings in the way, but, um, what if I plunked a post office <laughs> right there. Right, just just right in the middle. Maybe right in front of their track. There you go. So we got two post offices. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is that good? Is that clever or what? And now we got to find the train that's lost now. Um, it's my Detroit Toledo train. Toledo... This is, this is Toledo, Cleveland. That's Toledo, South Bend. I wonder if my train got destroyed. Hmm. I don't see it. I may have lost that train by... Oh, here it is. So it's... Oh, it's on the wrong side. Shoot. I'm going to lose all this stuff. Um, oh well. Such is life. You're, uh, you're gonna just get deleted, my friend. Actually, I, no, copying it won't work. I need to make a new one. Retire. You've been a good train, but you're retired. Okay, now we just add the train using our own Toledo and our 
own station at Detroit. We'll let it carry six and go. Uh, sure, the Americans fine. All right, so that should work a little bit better. Uh, and that way their trains are stuck too. <laughs> so you can see um, their insignia. That's how I, that's kind of what I forgot was that's, that's their train. My train has the little star. Theirs actually looks pretty close. I'm assuming I'm doing this right, actually. Yeah, because the train said it was stuck. It was waiting for their traffic to get out of the way, so that'll deal with them. And I still have that double track all through that. That was so stupid. Okay, anyway, I said I wasn't going to deal with the train so much this episode. Um, what is going on here with all you guys? There's an awful lot of trains in the way here. Everyone's stuck. And then their train gets in there and makes it even worse. Oh, good. As soon as I buy... Wow, this train looks incredibly powerful. Wow. Maybe I should have... Okay, let's compare. Hold on. Before I get to manufacturing. <laughs> There's always something getting in my way of my manufacturing stuff. Um, add train. So what have we got? Consolidation 280. I have fond memories of this, actually. I think this is one of the super trains. It's a little bit more expensive to buy. It's like three times the price. But look how fast it is. Look at that speed. Even with eight trains, it's going faster than these things can do with one car. Eight cars, one car. Look at that. Uh, let's compare it. Passenger appeal, better than the Baldwin. Slight, uh, about the same as the American. Fuel economy, as good as the Baldwin. Uh, annual maintenance goes up a little bit, of course. Acceleration, same as the rest. Reliability, better than the others. Passenger appeal good, steam good. Okay, I think we need to replace all our trains. So I guess we're just gonna do that first. And at least I believe this is a very instantaneous kind of thing. Consolidation, it's gonna spend, I wonder if I could just, there must, all locomotives. Oh, I can do to all of them in one thing. Oh, it's gonna cost some money. Okay, we gotta save up some money. I need a couple mil. Oh, I'm so glad I can do them all at once. That's gonna save a lot of time. Money, money, money. Almost there. Wanna make sure I got about 2100 or so. Um, Civil War is over. You can get trained workers that will reduce the cost of track laying. But then maintenance goes up. You know, I'm not really planning on laying a lot of track right now. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to work somewhere else. We're not really laying down track. All right, woohoo, big money, Mo Blue Mobile. I knew that was gonna be a good train. All right, so we're trying to upgrade. Um, not retire, replace. I want all Baldwins for sure. Consolidation, can I get all locomotives? Right, I can just do them all. So that will include the Baldwins and the Americans. This consolidation is better than all of them. For two million, replace all our trains brand new. Do it. We're gonna win some speed records here in the next few minutes. Because <laughs> these trains are fast. Let's watch one. I love the auto upgrade too. It's so good. Oh, this guy's gonna be so fast. Choo choo jaboogie. Look at him go. In fact, I should probably upgrade the max cars to eight for everything. Yeah, let's do that too. Because they're so powerful. If any of these guys want eight cars, they might as well take them, honestly. I mean, okay, let's start at the top and go through them all in order so I don't miss anything. Actually, can I? No, that just cycles through this, all the stops for that train, yeah. I have to do each train. At least I've got a pretty quick way to do it now. It shouldn't be too bad. Number three. Eight cars. Number four. I think all I really do is need to click that one button. Did I, uh... I thought I unselected that on one of them or something. Never mind me, I'm just crazy here. No. Okay, we're good. Four. Five. Sorry for the micromanaging business. Once this is done, we won't have to deal with the trains anymore, I bet ya. Oops. Now that we've got a, a, such a powerful engine, I think that'll last us for the rest of this map easily. And we might as well let them carry eight cars because, uh, well, why not? 
If I miss one along here, I don't really care too much. I'd like to get them all, but I just, uh, there's no point messing around to get every last one perfectly. Although it does eat into your, I mean, it's, it's optimization. You want to make as much money as you can. Might as well carry as much as they can because it doesn't slow them down very much. Especially these long ones. I think, yeah, I set them to 8 already. Look at that. Almost 400k. We're going to make so much money off of those long runs now because the trains are so fast. I think if I was going to micro now, if I was redoing my routes, I would make a bunch of longer routes rather than just the short ones. There we go. I think that's all the trains. Okay, that will do. Continue on, fair game. Yeah, instead of uh, just short, like, uh, let's see, uh, little Rockford to Chicago routes, I'd try to make more long distance, big money routes because we got faster trains now. And boy, are we making money. Okay, so I was talking about building a... a uh, oh, look at this. It's I was thinking of making a, a tool and die shop in Cleveland to use more of the steel that this guy will produce. I don't know if it's the best idea ever, but uh, there's a warehouse over here. What do they do? They turn alcohol into goods, and they also use up meat and paper. So this place already produces goods, as well as meat. They produce alcohol. That's a good. That's a good city, actually. Hmm. Well, the steel mill is certainly making money. Oh, 100k if we connect to Fort Smith. Meh. Don't care. Now, if we get close to 10k before the end of the year, and I think we are, it might be worth upgrading the steel mill actually already. This place is going to make insane cash. Look at this. And that's just the default. What the current level is. It hit it. It hit. Wow. It actually maxed out its uh, production. All right. Well, let's do it then. We're going to upgrade this guy, this puppy. He's going to be he's going to be epic epic steel mill. All right. Yeah. No wonder I'm making money. Look at this. Holy crap. Well, things have turned around in the last few years for YouTube Incorporated. I should have a look at my um hold on. At my stock here. I currently have $1,500 in debt, but my stock is worth $12 million. So I could just buy out the entire company. Pre well, never mind. Uh, we've got a lot of shares. Wow. That's what happens when your stock keeps splitting. I could buy some more. I mean, the stock's just going to keep going up. Yeah, I know. I'm going to use purchasing power. I got, I got tons of purchasing power. So what does that put me at? Two six. It's actually not going to make any difference at all. There's so many shares. I'm very glad I purchased more than half of them before it started going split crazy. So uh, that's good. Let's also make sure the dividends are being paid out. Um, we can pay out. Let's pay out two fifty a year in dividends. We're making. How much are we making? Income statement. We made over 5 million last year, so 250k is not very much. And most of it, about half of it, more than half of it will go to me personally. And at some point, I will no longer have negative 2.7 million, 2.6 million. I'll just have bonus cash on top of my stock. <laughs> so that's fun. All right, so text steel, steel mill or text tool mill. That's what I was going to build. Let's see if it's, oh no, first, right. Let's upgrade this puppy. Do it. Bam. So now it can produce up to 20. Oh, this this one thing is going to bring us over that. Um, it's going to make us enough industry profit just with that one mill. I think that was a smart move. I did do some research before I bought it. So I think that was part of the reason why it turned out so good. I knew it had access to the minerals, coal and iron, and uh, Indianapolis. Oh, right. Yeah, I did connect up to that station. That's fine. I might have to do the same thing I did up in uh, Chicago at some point. Make my own station and cut them out. Tool and die, 1.6 million. That's pretty cheap. I could just build that right here. You know what? Why not? There you go. 1.6 million. We got tool and die. It also needs iron. I didn't notice that. It needs steel to make goods. Well, I guess it can use either or. So what I'll do is I'll give this a couple years to see if it can make maximum three per year. 
And then I'll upgrade it. Or I can just upgrade, you know, I'll just upgrade it now. Why not? Let's put a bunch of money into that. Now, because that, uh oh, it crashed. No. All right, well, I couldn't tell you why it crashed, but it did. And uh, it, luckily there's an autosave every year, so we're not really any further back. So let's just upgrade this thing again and build my, uh, um, my uh, tool and die. Hopefully things continue all right and I don't have big problems. All right, so there we are. I think I must have made more money. I don't think I forgot to upgrade the trains. Luckily it saved all the train upgrades because that would have been a real pain going through all that stuff again. All right. So, is this another enemy? It is. What are you doing using my tracks? Or is it my train? I can never tell. The Akron one. No, it's using a Baldwin. It can't be my train. So because... Wow, I wasn't expecting the AI to use my tracks so aggressively. Maybe you should just never connect up your trains to them. Yeah, he's all over the place. Well, I think Indianapolis, you're going to get your own track. Look, yeah, look at this. I can't even get into the station because he's blocking it up. Oh, no, that's yellow. That's a different That's a different guy. That's the guy from Detroit. Oh, so his train, now that it's on my tracks, I can't get rid of it. This guy's stuck because he can't get back to Detroit, I think. Oh, I messed stuff up. I was trying to be clever there. But uh, I think I am sort of messed stuff up a little bit. That will make sure my train can keep moving a little bit better. See, his train too. Shoot. Well, at least he'll have to use my tracks and my station. Curses. Bad AI using all my stuff. But yeah, once you let them in, it's like you can't get rid of them. And I mean, I do think they pay a fair bit to use your tracks. But like, look at this. He's going to make money. His 22k... He's stealing it from me by going to Cleveland. He's stealing Cleveland's money. Oh, well. Could be worse. Uh, so I think what I want to do before this guy gets any bright ideas, I want to stop Indianapolis from doing that. So this time, my train's not in Indianapolis, so it's not going to get stuck. I can demolish that. I'll make my own station because I got lots of money. No need to be cheap. That is perfect. It covers, like, the whole thing. So that's fine. And did I ever build the buildings? Oh, I never built my Indianapolis stuff. Did I, I must have... Did I... I thought I built them here. Guess I didn't. All right. Let's build one of each here. I'll put this just in case he gets any clever ideas to try to connect. Actually, well, I might have wanted to connect up at some point. But nah, whatever. We're doing industry now. This just makes sure that he has a hard time connecting up to my route. He could easily go around that way if he was smart, but I don't think he's that smart. All right. Oh, wait, no, one more thing. Sorry. You trains. One of them should be broken. The one that goes to Indianapolis. Which one goes to Indianapolis? It's one of my... No, I didn't give it high priority. Detroit, Cleveland, this one? Lima. Where's Lima? Oh, yeah, this is it. It's the Cleveland Lima, and then it lost its Indianapolis spot. I'll get rid of that, and then add my Indianapolis Junction. I think the way they name stations by default is just the first one is called the name of the city, and then the second one in the same city is called the Junction version, I think. Seems to be, anyway. So, that should keep those guys off of our track. Um, I'm kind of interested in my tool and die factory. I wonder if this guy will be making good money. I might need to make sure I get more ore. Because I'm going to be using a lot of iron at the weapons production. Glad I made this double track. That's busy. So what's this guy doing? You're headed to Toledo. You're headed to Columbus. That's cool. So they're both going the same direction. No, they're not. One's supposed to be going that way. Okay, so one's turning left. Never mind. That's why. Oh, look at that double track working perfectly. <laughs> Except for right at the end here. I need like a larger station. They need to have like five lane stations or something. 
that would be the best for me. Anyway, um, how am I going to make more money? Um, so far they're not producing anything, which seems to tell me they're not getting any, any weapon, any steel or ore, iron. Hmm. Maybe that was a horrible idea, building that there. Maybe it's just not profitable enough, because there's already other things that produce goods here. I think the warehouse produces goods from alcohol. So maybe the price of goods is not good enough for them to buy iron or steel. Maybe. I guess we could look at it. Um, so goods are worth... They're still worth 300 bucks here, so you'd think that'd be okay. Iron is worth 76, and steel is worth 170. There's still profit. 160 or so, plus 70 is 230. They're still making 70 bucks profit per um, per good they make, I think, if, if, if I'm understanding it. They just need to get it there. So where can we get more? Well, I, sh I was thinking that we'd have enough weapon, or steel, sorry. The steel mill should be producing tons. I mean, I upgraded it. I don't know why it's only making 10. Maybe it just, maybe I have an iron shortage. Increase my salary. Yeah, yeah, we're doing great. I don't care. Um, I got tons of money. I could just build these things everywhere. So yeah, the steel mill, I was expecting to start making 20 rather than just 10 again. 10 loads worth. Maybe we don't have enough iron ore, probably. Coal or iron might be short. So let's find some more ore and coal and try to make a direct route. Looks like there's a lot nearby. I could connect up to Lansing. They've got like a coal mine. Hmm. There's lots of... Oh, there's lots right here too. There's definitely lots of uh, coal mines here and there. Even right by Cleveland. So does Cleveland... Yeah, it actually has access... No, it doesn't. That's the coal mine. It produces three per year. And it is selling at least one in 1.7 of it. Could be better. So, for instance, Cleveland has a fair bit of coal. That coal needs to get to Toledo so that this guy can build stuff. So if I click on the Toledo branch... This one really ought to be bigger. I can't build it bigger. Um, really, really ought to be larger. wonder if I get rid of that service tower if I can build a larger station here. Okay, let's try that. Upgrade, please? Nope, it's too close to the corner, I bet you. If I destroy it, unfortunately... Oh, can I get medium at least? Yes, at least I can get to medium. Okay, we'll stick with medium. That will be fine for now. Um... That's the other interesting thing. Technically, it's not connected to the steel mill. It's not quite large enough. Yeah. Oh well. Slight misstep. I need to be more careful about building these things close to curves. I should have made the second curve a little bit further down so that this station had room to upgrade. Um, anyway, what I'm looking for is iron, right? Iron. Gotta stay focused. Eyes on the prize, Blue. Eyes on the prize. Gotta make my tool and dive and steel and stuff. Iron. Okay. There's not much iron nearby. You know what? That's probably the problem. Lots of things use iron. I don't have a lot of ways to get it. Looks like most of the iron's up there by Minneapolis, which is somewhere I am not shipping to. You can see the iron coming down the river and then getting stuck in Madison, apparently. Is that really where all the iron is? No, there's no iron here. Why does it look like there's iron? What does that mean? Seven oh no, it has 17.8. It has tons of iron here. Holy cow. So the iron has not made it where it needs to make it. And you can see kind of the profit. The problem is that it's not worth enough anywhere. It actually would lose money in most directions. Interesting. So even from Toledo, there's just so much iron here, it's worth $63, 
In Toledo, it's actually worth less. 66. It would be worth it if I could get it from all the way from Madison to Cleveland. I suppose I could make one train for that. I don't know if that would save the... I don't know if that would fix the problem, but okay, let's give it a try. Madison to Cleveland. And we're going to this time force it to do iron. Hmm... Okay, hold on, wait, one more thing. I actually want it to stop. Okay, hold on. Subtract, subtract. I want it to start in Madison. I actually want it to stop in Toledo and then Cleveland. And we want it to only pick up, in Madison specifically, um, iron. Actually, let's go turn off any cargo. How do I do this the most efficiently? Custom. Iron. Iron. Iron iron and then if you have other stuff that's fine actually let's sorry we can have four of anything but I want to make sure some iron is moving down that four cars of iron per trip or I could just do all the iron it looks like there was a ton we'll do that for now go it's iron train all right that should get some iron moving towards Cleveland. Um, what else did this thing need? It needed steel. And the steel should be moving from Toledo to Cleveland. I have, I know I have a Toledo-Cleveland route. It just needs to be worth the money for it to ship it. So let's see, where's, it, where's our Toledo-Cleveland train? What's going on here, trains? Which one of you is the Toledo-Cleveland? Akron. Toledo-Cleveland. So it's just full of passengers and mail. Really? This is purely Cleveland Toledo and all it wants to fill up on is passengers and mail. Do I need more trains? You know, that might be the problem. I actually need to add trains to this route. Because this is eight cars on a fast train making lots of money on a short route. And it actually is just, it's just maxed out. Let's see what it picks up in Toledo. I mean, if it ships passengers and mail that way, that's fine. But it needs to send this weapons or the steel the other direction. Speed up a little bit. See if this is working. All right, we're loading. We're loading up livestock. Yeah, see, look at this. Livestock and passengers. It's making tons of money, <laughs> but it's not helping up my industry. Okay, so what I'm going to do then, I've been thinking about this for a while. I've got tons of money anyway. We're going to... We're going to fully upgrade this route to double. Cost me a fair bit of money, but should be fine. It's a well-used route anyway. And then I'm just going to add another train. I mean, if it's going to make that much money anyway, I might as well. I'm still not going to force this one to use... Uh, to use uh, to use the iron or the, wep or the steel. Sorry, I keep saying the weapons, but... I'm assuming once I load enough of these things in... I mean, still, look at all the passengers. Just massively full. Wow. I did not realize just how much goods these cities would produce. That might be part of the problem, is I'm just not shipping enough goods to deal with this demand. Yeah, look at that. The problem is it's got 5.7 goods just sitting there. Yeah, that's the trick. Well, we're, we got to add more trains, basically. All right, well, that's the Toledo train. What's the next one I want to look at? This is my South Bend to Toledo back and forth. Yeah, that's the next step. And it's, again, looks like it's maxed out. Paper, passengers, and clothing. At least it has some other things. But that's, that's a lot of money. You know what? I'll just add another train there. Cost me a fair bit to double the, double the width cost me a lot of money to be honest but um, if they're gonna be that profitable I mean if if there's enough demand for two trains at max cart cargo why not so this one might not fill up as much as the last one yeah look at this good so now we should be transporting things that aren't as profitable but just making sure the goods keep moving is kind of what I'm thinking if that makes sense. Detroit to Toledo, not quite full. That's only, uh... Oh no, that's somebody else. Or no. Detroit 
Detroit Junction, Toledo. Uh, an oil well. I don't really care about oil. Um, is this not my train? Oh no, it's not. It's uh, it's an enemy train, so I can't actually do anything with it. Yeah, Segwa, Seginwa, and Lansing. Where's my train? Is this my train? Eight two oh two eight oh. That's probably the right one. So my trains are full or not full. Oh, it's unloading. Never mind. Loading. Still loading a lot of stuff. Interesting. All right. It's taken me a little while to get the hang of all these goods moving. We're certainly making money, though. Oh my word, we're making money. Is this thing doing anything yet? The question is, was the tool and die a waste of 1.7 million? Continuing to make more money, profits continue to go up because I add amazing routes. That's me. Okay. Are you doing anything now? It did create 1.2 last year. Okay, so it's making a profit. 100k a year, that's better. I don't know if it's something I did or just took a while. This guy is still not making more than 20 a year, so that big upgrade might not have helped him out too much. But, uh, I mean, he's making money. Uh, if we check my ledger, I have already made 3.7 million in industry profits. So even if I don't do anything, I think I'll hit 10 million before we run out of time, probably. But that doesn't mean I'm going to just give in and do nothing. Let's just find, I think the easiest way, seeing as I'm so rich, is let's just find something that's profitable. Like this guy makes about a third of a million per year making uh, booze. It's already been upgraded. Very expensive. It does. It's not going to make me a lot of money, but it'll give me industry profit. Right? That's, that's what I'm mainly going at. Seems very expensive though. 4.1 million. I'd like to build my own industry and have it, like, thrive. What could I build? Hmm. What could we do? Munitions are down. Meat. I wish you could see, um... Before you buy it, what it actually needs. I guess what I can do is, like, uh, look at goods. Uh, I could try to find somewhere that... Hmm, what would, be, what would be the smart way to do this? Traffic dis... Oh, look at this. Oh, I forgot about this. Profitability. Okay, well, that's not going to help me. Um... What I want to know is something that I could... Something that I could build, like, uh could I build? Okay, let's, let's pick one. I could build myself Blue Ankylos uh, Amazing Brewery. So let's look at brewery stuff. I think that makes alcohol, I would assume. The price of alcohol is really low there. It's really high in the green areas. So does that mean building it in a green area would be okay? Because they'd sell it for a lot of money? I think there's already one in Milwaukee. What's that giant arrow? Yeah, there's a brewery right here. And it's not even making money. Not anymore, anyway. I could buy it for quite cheap. I wonder if it's just not getting any grain. Okay, so then... Let's look at grain. Because it looks like the price of alcohol is very high here. So you'd think producing it would be good for the, uh... For the, uh... The, 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 the industry. Um, I mean, shipping, you want to ship from low to high. But producing, you'd think producing it in high would be good. Anyway, grain. That uses a lot of grain. Is there anywhere... There's not a whole lot that produces it until you get to Cedar Rapids. So maybe what I'll do is I'll make a route from Cedar Rapids to Milwaukee delivering grain. Because there's lots of grain over here. I could actually buy those farms, in fact. I think. Yeah. Oh, that's cheap! They don't make much money, but I could buy them, no problem. They're gonna make more money, as soon as I connect all this stuff up. Grain farm, grain farm, we're gonna buy some grain. Alright, those are two grain farms in there. There's another one in Davenport, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Alright. Grain, grain. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna buy the grain. I'm gonna expect that the price of grain in the neighborhood is gonna go up. So it's gonna make me money. Okay. Then I'm gonna buy this. Brewery because it's cheap right now. 1.3 million is cheap, it's dirt cheap. And we need to make sure grain gets here. 
I bet you that's been the problem, not enough grain. So, Cedar Rapids, now that we've got some farms over here, we can afford to make a track. To make a bridge. Actually, what? Didn't I remember? Didn't I just get steel bridge? Iron bridges. Che uh, they're between wood and stone. And actually, they're not as good as stone. Uh, iron is only moderate speed. Stone is high speed. I want high speed. Even if it's expensive. Got to go with stone. Okay, connect Cedar Rapids up. And I will build a large station just to connect up. If I build it there, it actually hits the farm. Well, an iron mine. Oh, that's interesting too. I'm going to buy that iron mine too. I want more iron. <laughs> There's a textile mill right here. I could buy this too. It's kind of expensive. So this one's turning... Whatever, I'm not going to get into textiles. I've already got enough stuff going on. Alright, let's build the giant station connecting up right there. That'll be fine. Mm, I'm trying to decide whether I want all the houses in it or the the farm. I want to get at least one farm in there just to make sure it gets lots of uh... Yeah, let's put it right there. That guarantees we're going to get um lots of uh, of grain. We're going to get two per year, no matter what. And then we're going to make a train. Add train from here to here. I'm going to give it max. Now, I'm not going to force it to take grain. I'm just going to hope that it figures it out on its own. <laughs> that might be a bad idea, but I'll, I'll give it a try. Okay. Go. What did you fill up with first? Lots of money. Clothing, clothing, we know there's a textile. Iron's good, produce, grain, there we go. And not a whole lot else. So is there just not enough grain in the city? Uh, where's my grain? There we go. There's just not very much grain right... No, that's not grain. Iron, grain. Yeah, we took all the grain because that was all there was, basically. Prosperous. Once there's more grain, that will be shipped to Milwaukee and our um, brewery will start using it. So we'll start seeing this make some more money. I bet you I bet you that'll work. And then not only that, our grain farm will make more money because it will actually be producing two and selling them right away. I think. I could be totally crazy here, but I think that's how it works. I could buy a fruit orchard too. And eh, it's not worth that much money. And I mean, the trick was, by um, purchasing them when they're unprofitable, it was very cheap. Not like it makes much difference now that I'm rich, but the point is you can play like that, buying low, connecting stuff up, and then making big money. Iron mine. You buy an iron mine for not very much money. So it makes two a year, it's in full production then right now. Just gotta get more grain here. I wonder if I should focus more on getting even more grain. So that was those two. If I connected to Davenport, that could be another route. Or I could go even further, like there's a lot of grain up there. I probably should connect up to uh, Minneapolis. But Cedar Rapids was just so obvious. Um, there's a lot of grain down here actually. And a lot of it's sitting around in Springfield, isn't it? Yeah, actually, yeah, look at all that grain. That's a ton of grain. So that grain... Oh, didn't I already connect Cedar Rapids? Yeah, you already connected. I should get that money instantly. Are you not connected right now? Oh, did I build the station just outside of reach? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? It considers like this little dot in the middle, Cedar Rapids. Whatever. Just just stay unconnected. I don't care. Um, I was looking at grain here. So this city has 26 units of grain just sitting around. It would like to go to London to make lots of money. London, I don't have a connection to though. Apparently the price of grain is really expensive up there. Um... You can actually see by how bright the colors are. So Green Bay, Milwaukee, Sheboygan, 
Milwaukee would be good. I don't think I have a route that goes from Springfield. Actually, I have a route from St. Louis to Milwaukee. It's not perfect. Oh well. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm pretty sure we'll be making enough money as it is. Alright, we're in production again. Yes! So, um... I think my grain is getting here. Because it wasn't producing like that before we bought it, right? So that's good. Uh, how's my tool and die? Did I fix that yet? Actually, it's doing really good! If it makes nearly three in a year, that's maxing it out. This thing, the upgraded, will seem, doesn't seem to make any difference because it's not actually getting over 10. Hit that 9.9 .9 the one time, but now it's actually making less. I wonder if I should upgrade the uh, tool and die. You know what? Why not? I, I will upgrade it. Another, uh, another wage increase? We're making tons of money. How are we doing for the goal? Industry profits, good. I've almost hit the company book value for gold. I bet you a couple more years and we'll have it. Oh, this has been a super long episode again. Wow. Sorry about that. I just keep forgetting. Okay, let's just wrap things up. I think I decided I was going to upgrade this anyway, just for fun. I don't think it hurts much to to upgrade. It just You just pay the money and it improves the upgrade the, the capacity. So instead of three, now it can make six if it can get the goods and sell them. This one's making... Actually, they're making very similar amounts of money. Interesting. And then I own... I will be making some money off of the farms. Not a lot, obviously. But that's okay. Um, the sheep farm is actually somewhat profitable. Pretty expensive, though. Profits do seem in line with the more money it is, the more expensive it is pretty straight up. So, um, that's fine. I'm still mad that that's not connected. And then our, uh, our brewery... It'll turn around. I bet you this will start making some money soon. Alright, so that'll wrap this episode up. Next time, let's just go industry crazy. I'm going to buy a whole bunch right at the beginning, and we're going to try to finish the series. Or, sorry, not the series. We're going to try to finish this uh, mission. We're going to make as much money as we can, get our industry value up, and finish up. Alright, so thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.